because of the corona, I found myself sitting at home in Herzliya and doing nothing. And then I learned about the Zoom. And I thought about to call all my friends that they are already speakers, and I have also speakers from all over the world, and uh, to establish this special uh, uh, speaker bureau that um, we have, uh, um, I mean, we have uh, speakers, we have uh, different languages, and they all talk about spy, security, uh, cyber, military, and things like this. Are these dec like are, are these new stories that these individuals can speak about? Stories that never before were known. Well, actually. Uh, we never got this kind of agency because I took, I found all the all the people that already speakers. Okay, I'm not going to ask a retired agents to start to talk. Mm -hmm. Okay, but when you put together all of them, you can also make special events with a few of them, and you can do like uh, courses, like a small university of spy. And it also makes, I know you yourself have consulted uh, produ film productions uh, on accuracy uh, and, and Mossad missions. If there are, you know, screenwriters or producers, if they want to learn more, I mean, this is like a database yes. of decades of experience of the Mossad, this famous agency in Israel. Yes, we, we, we produce uh, uh, traveling exhibitions, props for movies. Uh, we have uh, different kind of medals that we produce for big operations. And uh, we can also help uh, screenwriters if they, if they need our advice how to write, because it's all about the small details. A lot of, uh, for, especially for Hollywood or the world, they know the Mossad only through like m movies and TV and production. Th there's this image of the Mossad. So with this new website you've cultivated, Spy Legends, I mean, it makes it easier to get to the true story yes. that's out there. Yes, we have the true story, but we have also directors, producers, uh, actors that talk about the cinema, but we always compare between the real life. We have a real Mossad agents, we have Shin Bet, we have professor from the university. A real, like Spy University. Yes, like uh, Professor Uzi Rabi and Professor Uzi Aran, and very famous people. And you, you mentioned some of the commemorative uh, coins and, and things that you've made to commemorate some of the more famous missions. You brought some of the, yes. the, the things that are out there. For example, uh, this one is Operation Brothers. It brought the Ethiopian Jews, and there is a lot of small details that shows the whole operation, more than a decade. All kind of the way that the Mossad brought them to Israel. And for example, if you wanted to learn more about how the planning for this or, or the success of this mission, I mean, you can go now on this website and, and be able to speak with people who had first-hand yes. experience. Yes, we have Yola Reitman, that uh, was the manager in the in the village in Sudan. We have Danny Limor, we have Gad Shimron, and uh, we can make you know people in Israel, for example, think that the Zoom is something that it's a punish because you need to sit and learn instead of going to the school. But I found that in the Zoom you can connect people from all over the world. Okay, even in a, in a normal days you cannot fly all of them to to one place. Right. I mean it's it's too it's too expensive. How new of a website is this, and what kind of response have you been getting? Are people using it? Well, I came with the idea three months ago, mm -hmm. and now uh, and last week we uh, we came online, and uh, a lot of people first of all want to join us, so we have to be very very uh, careful because we are picking only the, the people. Best. The you mentioned best. also it's Israeli spies or agents, but also there are some CIA yes. operatives there. So this is international spies Yes, it's international, well. yes. International. How, you knew these are people that you knew in your For work? For example, uh, uh, Robert Berry is a very famous uh, CIA, from, former CIA agent, and he, he works now for CNN, but he made the uh, famous uh, television series about Hitler. Mm. Okay, so so you can talk, for example, in the topics of Holocaust, and talk about Hitler. Is Hitler still alive? And he's in. Oh, he, did he escape to? Yeah, some of these conspiracies out there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was a really incredible website. I know it's brand new. It's one of the things that uh, one of the more creative things coming out from this pandemic. Congratulations on launching it, Avner Avraham again. SpyLegends.com. Best of luck.